welcome to Roseburn Park. It's a highly anticipated test match here. Waiting for the referee to get this one underway. And away we go at Roseburn Park. The number two forced back in the tackle. Anybody's ball here. Now it's been picked up Advantage. and probes the defence. Ball lost forward. So playing advantage here. Yeah, he just lost it in the contact there. Good hit on him, though. The number two reaching the 22. They'll come back here, scrum to France. Let's watch here. Crouch. Yeah, he couldn't handle the ball and Touch. then knocked it on. He'll be annoyed Pause. at that. Hengay! Telephone puts it in. Romania have stolen this. The number nine is still going. He tried to offload. The offload definitely wasn't on there. Well, it was a dreadfully bad pass. That pass was fired very flat. The left winger finally dragged down, but he made a telling run. Gets it off to the number four. So this is a line-out on the 10-metre line. The lock grabs it. Oh, that's a shocker. Durham de Vallada stretching out. The open side flanker crosses the halfway line. They bring him down in the end. They've turned it over, beautifully done. Romania built some pressure and they turned the ball over very well. He's missed by Dacey. The number eight bursts through another. That's an awful pass. <laughs> Telefoni dives onto it. They might still have it. Dacey with a little pick and go. Romania might have stolen this. Out over his 22 Advantage. comes the scrum half. And the ball lost forward by Romania. So he's playing advantage here. He just lost the ball in that impact, Advantage really. Over. It was good defence on him, though. Well, the weather's not playing a part in these handling errors. I get the feeling they're just overplaying it a bit. And they've turned it over. The number nine was the one, I think, who turned it over eventually for Romania. Breaks the tackle and pushes on. Neither team able to pull away so far. The scores are tied as we head to the break. Half-time here, and great work to keep things unexpectedly close by Romania. We have a full house here in Edinburgh. This match has been highly anticipated. I think so, yeah. Here's the kickoff from the first 5 8 Kickoff dragged down by the centre. The number 12 is exhibiting some great catching this match, Nisbo. The number nine picks up and runs. The number 13 looking for support as he runs. Beautiful offload. The number four goes down and gets it. Pick and go by the number seven. Rather speculative pass. Chamberlain tidies up. They can't reel him in. It'll be a try for sure. There's the first try for France. It was a good build up there. I like the way they handled themselves and they get some points as a result. Just check the build-up in the replay here. Look at that. It's just a brilliant piece of work. 
The first 5 8 steadies himself for the kick. <sighs> and the flags are up, and the score now 7 to nothing. Well, it's a close match. Both teams have done well so far. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. <clears throat> now the kickoff. The short kickoff has been pretty effective, I think. The 5 8 down to the 22 metre line. That tackle hasn't slowed him down. The front rower on his way. And he's in. Romania get there first. They have some real continuity in their play. That's a good result for them. Now, here's the replay. Just watch how they build this up. Next up, we'll have the conversion. The conversion now to tie this match up. The ball probably just sailing wide here. And just narrowly misses. The 5'8 just doesn't strike the ball well enough on occasions. <sighs> kickoff made by the number 10. That short kickoff has given his team the chance to dispute possession. <sighs> and out it goes. We're in the last few minutes now. One by the number seven. Textbook tackle from the number five. I wouldn't be surprised if they try a drop goal here. He's broken the tackle apart. And he's too strong for Dacey. Big, strong run by the back rower. This match just about over here. The number 10 with a good darting run. And he's battered by the defence. France struggling to put him away. The scrum half and the pick and go. He gets through another. The number 13 picks the ball up. It passes to his support. Oh, a terrible mistake from Telefoni. He's lost it right on his own line. Well, just have a look here. He just couldn't control the ball. He'll be disappointed with that. And in fact, the whistle blows, the game is over. France have the victory. France victorious here. An excellent contest here.